hello everyone welcome back in this video we'll see ansible blocks and error handling in playbooks blocks are classes that logically group the task and uh, it can be used to control how the tasks are executed so in blocks it also allow for error handling in combination with the rescue and always statement so now uh, let us see some example in which uh, we can use the block rescue and always statement basically uh, the block uh, defines the main task and uh, the rescue in case uh, if the task failed in block statement then it will go to the rescue task and uh, then it will execute the always task will run always so let us see an example and then you can um, better understand how it works okay let me create a playbook block let me put using block dot camel okay so I'm putting the name using block rescue and always statement Okay, I'm going to use this playbook to run on servic.acg.com. And uh, next, I'm going to use some wars variable here, defining the web package HTTP and DB package MariaDB server and db service maria db okay next task okay here going to use the name install web package I'm calling the variable here in the name section and package. So I'm using the M module and the name of the package will be here calling the variable I have declared web package. And uh, the state present okay so the next task will be install db package and using the m module name of the package i'm calling the variable db underscore package okay and this state present okay so now if i run this playbook you might have guessed uh, this playbook will get failed in task one because there is no package called http because the actual package name is httpd and once uh, this task fail then the playbook will exit and to overcome this problem we can apply ignore errors in this place so we can add uh, ignore errors so that uh, the playbook uh, will not uh, fail in this place for example i can add 
ignore errors so that uh, even if this task fail it will go to the next task to install the db package yeah. and the next task for starting the surveys okay so since we have seen that uh, in the previous video i'm just directly go into uh, use the block rescue and always statement in this example so now i'm going to declare the so let me remove this ignore error okay now i'm going to uh, use the block so let me put the name attempt to set up a web server okay and here i'm using the block class okay make sure we put the proper indentation okay so now under block i have mentioned install web package okay and uh, next for db package i'm going to use the rescue section okay and uh, under which i'm going to use the task for db package and finally we can add always clause to start the database server upon installing the using the service module okay here start db service and using the service module and name of the service calling the variable and state started okay so let me save the playbook and execute ansible playbook okay as you can see uh, it says no package matching http but uh, the playbook doesn't uh, exit because we are using the rescue okay now uh, so uh, this is the rescue class here it is installed the mariagb server and uh, the third task start the mariagb service that will always start so to uh, summarize um, let me uh, explain like uh, the block session the block class that defines the main task to run okay so if that task was success then it will skip the rescue and then it will go to the always that will run always but in case uh, the uh, block clause fails, then it will execute the rescue task, whatever we have mentioned. And uh, third, always, that will run always. Okay, so uh, let me edit the playbook again. 
so this time i'm going to update the http d package okay so in this case uh, the block section that will get uh, executed because there is a package available and uh, if that block class is success then it will skip the rescue clause and then go to the always so let me save and uh, execute the playbook okay now it's uh, running the block session okay here we can see that uh, this was executed okay so this time the task in the block doesn't get failed so this causes the task in the rescue section to be ignored and then the task in the always will still run okay so we are not seeing the uh, maria db server uh, task here so we only see install http d package that's in the block section and uh, next uh, it go to the always section to run the service okay so next uh, we'll see how to control the condition that causes a task to be reported as changed to the managed host so uh, let me edit the playbook so here i am going to add two tasks to before the block okay here i'm going to add a check local time i'll be using the command module date and using the register command result and uh, the second task will be print local time here using the debug module to print the value and here i can use the where command underscore result dot std out okay so now let me save the playbook and execute okay so here you should see uh, the first task check local time which runs the command module reports changed even though it did not change the remote system it only collected the information about the time that is because uh, the command module cannot tell the difference between a command that collect the data and command that changes the state so if we use the command module it always it always say changed status okay so let me edit the playbook again because the that command task uh, should not report changed every time it runs because it is not actually changing the managed host so for that we can add something like changed when is false okay let me save and execute the playbook okay now we see that it says okay okay so the playbook of uh, will run and uh, we can see that uh, it says okay but the task is still being run and it is still saving the time to that variable but since it is not making any changes on the managed host we are using that 
changed when keyword set to false okay so finally uh, let's see uh, how to use the failed when keyword to interact with the task so let me edit the playbook so in the blog section i'm going to use the failed when keyword make sure um, using the proper indentation so failed when web underscore package equal equal http d okay so uh, we have declared a web package value http d and here we are using this keyword failed when if failed when web package equal http d then it will fail the task so let me save and uh, run the playbook okay now uh, since uh, the block class is failed it's running the rescue section and then the always section okay so the install httpd package task reports that it failed but it actually ran and uh, made sure the package is installed first the failed when keyword changes the status of the task reports after the task run it doesn't change the behavior of the task itself okay so the reported failure change uh, the behavior of the rest of the play because uh, that task was in a block and reported that it failed so the install maria gb server package task in the block rescue section was run okay so uh, that's it in this video and uh, i'll see you in the next thank you